Hey, what's up everybody? This is Michael G, design extraordinaire for Mavidia Technology Group. Uh, I'm you blushing. Like He's getting a little red. Oh. Michael is, uh, is our lead web designer and, um, and I'm gonna tell you a little, little story about Michael here in a second. But uh, my name is Eric Barnland, and I'm the CEO of Mavidia Technology Group. And um, super blessed to have incredible people like Mike on our team. And as we've mentioned in previous live postings, we uh, we wanted to get them involved with helping uh, helping you and your small business and some of the uh, the projects and some of the uh, technological uh, things you're tackling. Um, Obviously, we design state-of-the-art, world-class websites, right? Yeah. And we make these really awesome websites for our small business clients, and we help them market those online so that they can generate traffic to the mm -hmm. website and through the website. Um, and then that results in new business, mm -hmm. right? Because what's the point of having a website if it doesn't actually generate business for you? Well. Mm -hmm. As you know, we've mentioned in the past that uh, uh, the we polled 50 small business owners from across the Midwest and asked them, what do you think about your website? Mm. And rank that website. And what they give, what they rank themselves? An F. An F. Is that right? No. I think it's the other way. F, maybe. I don't know, it's okay. backwards on this thing, but they give them themselves an F. And so, and that just, Obviously, it, it boggles my mind. I'm not. I can't understand how a small business would knowingly have an F-rated website that they're putting out there in hopes it would attract new business mm -hmm. um, or help them retain current business, for that matter. Uh, your website is one of the first things people experience as consumers with your brand and your uh, your business. Mm -hmm. right? So it needs right to be nice. On. Right on. Right. So. And setting us up a little bit, uh, met Michael a couple years back, and as soon as I met him and saw his portfolio, see, I was a graphic design major in college. You're uh, nervous here. I know it's, it's getting <laughs> it's getting weird, but I was a graphic design major in college, and I took uh, a lot of pride in what I did and worked very hard in trying to design really cool websites. Okay, and it's hard for me to turn that you know that task turn that. Uh, that uh, responsibility over to someone else. When I met Michael, immediately I knew we had someone who was going to enrich the relationships we have with our existing clients and future clients, and we had the right guy for um, for helping them introduce their brand, their company online. And so everything I've seen from Michael has been incredible, uh, including changing our Mavidia logo that I worked so hard and so feverishly trying to develop, but that's a story for another <laughs> day. Um, but we've started this little client profile thing and walk through the dynamics of, of how the client came to us, what their needs were, mm -hmm. and, um, and some of the things they were looking to do. Sure. So today we wanted to walk through a um, walk through Walker's Walker Feed, feed Co. Company. Um, who is a, a website client of ours, and uh, tell you a little bit about that project. And so, what do you think, Mike? I was think that was that windy enough? Yeah. Did I talk <laughs> long enough? That was good. That was well, that was quite an introduction. Quite an introduction. Thank you. I appreciate all the kind words. Um, Men one everyone. other thing that's well, I was gonna say. I think possibly the coolest part about doing these um, whatever live previews or maybe talking about the experience we've had with some of our clients, is we get to showcase some of our clients. Um, a lot of times I sit here and babble on about myself and oh, work we do and stuff, but it, it comes- Cause we're awesome. Cool. I know, cause we're totally cool. Yeah. We, we figured that out, but it's time to tell the world that our clients are totally cool too. And you know, put them on the pedestal because this is what we're all about, is serving others and having fun while we're doing that. Mm -hmm. And so today, we're uh, gonna show you guys Walker Feed Co. And when we met with them, um, what seems like eons ago, um, we met, so I guess I should start keep, keep saying, talking. Uh, what Walker Feed Co. does is they make, um, let's get let's get a, a little snapshot so they know what we're talking about. This is, sure. the, this is the Walker Feed Co. logo. Give me one second, Michael. 
I'm not a, I wouldn't say that I'm a gifted cameraman. <laughs> oh, I, but I don't know. I just talk really. You're doing okay, a good so job to me. They're, they're getting a little shadow of the Walker Feed sure. Pro website. So Can keep you going. See? Okay, cool. So they make, um, what do you call these? Are they drink? The cocktail mixers, right? Cocktail mixers. Cocktail mixers, yeah. Duh. Yeah. Cocktail mixers. <laughs> we always forget the terminology. I know. The, the, the right terminology sometimes. Right. There's like some super fancy words behind this, right? Yeah. So they make a variety of cocktail mixers that you can just add your favorite spirits to. And um, it was a really neat story, actually. So um, the owner of Walker's, uh, Walker Feed Co., uh, she started it by herself. Um, she was working in the restaurant business for a number of years. And I think, you know, as the story goes, and she'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, you know, one, one Saturday afternoon, she started whipping up some cocktails and um, her favorite thing, one of her favorite things to do at parties was to serve cocktails and to uh, be a mixologist. Is that what it's called? Mixologist. mixologist. Yeah, that's right. right. It's a science. Sounds so, good. Um, and people all of a sudden were like, hey, you know, like, this is really good. I'm like, hmm. this is really good, you know? Um, and I think she started bottling and making her own, and they're all um, using fresh ingredients, you know, nothing is, you know, the whole natural, all that good stuff. Um, and uh, they, they, they took off. So when they came to us, they were looking for a simple solution to sell their products online. And hmm. we said, Let's do it, right? So, um, if we if we start here, I don't know, you know, if you have any questions too. I usually just kind of show our users the homepage or um, show our audience the homepage here. Yeah, let me let me make a point. One of the, one of the things that struck me about uh, um, about this business and this brand is how fitting it was to me as a consumer. And, and well, hey, I like cocktails every now and then. Yeah, now, right. I love good cocktail. Yeah. And, and how fitting the brand was. And so what I was, what I enjoyed is the vintage look of their packaging. Yeah. And how you blended that into, blended, no pun intended, haha, <laughs> blended that into That's their funny. website design. Um, and so, Michael, was this, this was their first foray into having a website, right? And doing e commerce sales online. Yeah, I believe so. Um, again, you know, I, I really hope I'm not misspeaking because it was just, it, it was a few months ago when we met with Kristen, but um, yeah, we took her, she she had an existing kind of sales network going on and she right. was selling to distributors, but this was her first take, I believe, at selling to um, individuals online. Mm -hmm. And so, okay. and anybody can do that, right? If you, you know, it's it's really, I think a lot of people look at e-commerce and they say, uh oh, like that sounds you know, too complicated or anything like that, but it's it's pretty easy to do. So then walk us through what she was trying to accomplish. You know, what were some of her um, goals and uh, and then you know how what did you do with those and, and as you des designed you sure. know, look and feel and whatnot. Yeah, I think um, like you said Full pun intended, you know, mixing her brand into, because she has just an awesome brand here and has a really, really great logo. Um, by the way, they're down in Nashville, Tennessee, Walker Feed Co. Check them out. Um, they, they have a great brand and they had some just fantastic photography taken of their products. And, um, you know, like you said, they kind of, they kind of flirt on that line of eclectic, um, vintage, uh, I'm trying to think of other words now too. Um, retro sort of design and it was really neat. So we kind of implemented that in the overall look. I would say that one of her biggest goals was to come off as a professional um, organization, a, a, a professional shop, if you will, and um, just carry on that brand into the site. And I think, you know, if you're scrolling down here, you'll see a, a little bit of movement in the imagery, very subtle but very clean coming down here, lots of white space. I mean, this is, this is great stuff. Um, kind of right up my, my alley, if you will. I, I really like white space, um, mm -hmm. in a subjective field, I guess, you know, just to throw that out there. Um, 
and then getting a little bit of social media presence here because I know she does a lot of stuff on social media, you know, um, recipes and all that good stuff. And um, and then really, so... So oh, what was that? Show, show me that again. I, I couldn't get very Right close. up here? Yeah, can we get the computer towards the end? Sure, yeah. I'll bring that a little closer. I can't get How's it. How's that? So what is that? This? Oh, yeah. this is her face. So it's kind of a little bit of a um, feed. Just a, straight from Facebook, right? So showing the... So um, this is integration with Facebook. Sure, yeah, okay. exactly. And, um, you know, as we know at Mavidia um, and Max Slider, integrating social media into your buying process, you know, it's creating, it's just furthering that community, it's furthering that brand uh, equity, and it's getting users to feel like they're in a community with your brand. And um, and she does, you know, a lot of that here, mm -hmm. talking about gift guide, you know, it's, it's just some really good stuff here. Um, so let's take in the, uh, the wall, the Facebook wall, sure. and posting it straight to her website. Yep. Right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, and it, um, yeah, and it'll it'll load. You can keep scrolling down here, and it'll, um, as you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of like a continuous feed. Sure. Um, and you can like it right there. Um, you hop right over to Facebook if you click mm -hmm. it. So those people that come to, you know, it does a couple things. Those people that come to uh, the website and don't realize there's a Facebook page, uh, but I mean, let's be honest, everybody's got Facebook, right? Yeah. So. Um, it showcases that right there on the home page. If you scroll a little bit, um, they can like the page right then and there, mm -hmm. right? So it increases, uh, um, you know, consumer integration with their with their uh, social media assets, and they can kind of see consumers can see, you know, the dynamic content that's, that uh, people typically add to those social yeah. media yeah. Uh, outlets. So what we what we're seeing a lot is that people update their Facebook page way more often than their website right and it's interesting because they're oftentimes adding a tremendous amount of content out there on their Facebook page but it's not making it over to their site super valuable content yeah, yeah. super valuable stuff it keeps the uh, it keeps that um, you know the Facebook page dynamic and interesting and we want the same results from the website yeah the user engagement dude yeah, yeah. that's you got to keep true. them coming back. If yeah, you got to come back. Then, then people won't. Right. So, I love the the uh, social media integration we're doing right there, Mike. So continue cool. on. Right on. Um, well, you know, just moving down here, um, you'll see that it it's nice to talk a little bit about who they are before we jump right into. So it gives a little back, a little bit of story here, um, gets you a little bit of. A little dose of community mm -hmm. through the Facebook feed um, and now we're talking about what they do um, and this sort of separates their products into you know you can view them all uh, just from a user experience standpoint it's great to have some options to funnel all the users through your site so if I want to view all the products I can just click here uh, again there's nice little interactions that happen throughout the site um, very subtle but definitely add to that um, eclectic vintage brand that they they really own at Walker's and um, if I can view just the mixers they also have rimming salts and sugars for you know margaritas and um, other cocktails and then if I scroll down a little bit more um, I can just see there's here's a few featured product I'm sorry featured products um, and I believe this this is kind of pulling in there either their their um, most popular or uh, I, I can't remember if you can control that or not. Um, but anyways, so let's just say I want to click, you know, I'm going to go in here and see all their products. Um, I really like the way that we laid out their products because there's not thousands of them. You know, mm -hmm. this is not this is not an Amazon.com. Yeah. Um, we don't need to scroll through different departments and or spend 10 minutes searching for it. Right, you know? So we can take advantage, um, Eric, of that great photography they have here. Um, it utilizes a simple layout. Um, I mean, as you can see here, this ain't rocket science, you know? Yeah. And it's nice, it's clean, and it's easy. Yeah, there's a certain beauty and simplicity in what we know, because we study the way people uh, use a website, that when people come to a site, 
they want to find information fast. Mm -hmm. They want to find the products they're looking for fast and they want to be able to um, transact quickly or mm -hmm. if they don't, they leave. And so obviously when you have a limited number of products, you can feature as a little boutique kind of um, you know, um, retailer like this, you could focus on those, uh, those products and not yeah. make this too complicated. We see a lot of people, I have over the course of my web career, seen a lot of people that try to overcomplicate this. And they try to jam up a bunch of information and a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuff that in, in the end just gets in the way of people making a transaction. So we take the, whenever possible, the most straightforward path yeah. to accomplishing the end goal, which is the transaction, the mm -hmm. sale, and we try to make that process simple. Mm -hmm. uh, even when it is complicated and there's many, many, many products, you know, we, we try to make that layout in that process simple. Yeah, it, I just wanna do a little, a little test here and kind of showcase how easy it is to find the product you're looking for and to buy it. Now I'm a little biased because I made this site, but I'll pretend that I have no idea, you know, in, in terms of what the user might see. Say I land here, I know that Walker's Bloody Mary mix is their best, their most, I'm sorry, not their best, but their most popular product. That's kind of what got her into the space is her Bloody Marys. Hmm. So say I hear, say Eric comes up to me and he's like, man, you gotta order some of this Walker's Bloody Mary mix. It is the best Bloody Mary mix I've ever had. I'm gonna land on their site. I can, I can start here and say, okay, well, I know it, you know, I know it's one of their products. I'm gonna click products. Oh, here it is right here. That's what I want. Okay, I already know what it is. You know, I'm, I'm really not gonna need, but I might skim this over. Oh, I can see the ingredients. You know, it's nice to see that. Um, and of course, sharing options, if you wanna share it with your friends. Um, and I can select here my size. So there's two different sizes. I, of course, want the big size. Of um, course. I wanna add that to my cart. Look how easy that was. Um, nice. You know, if these are, you know, if I'm shipping them over and they're only 12 bucks, I'm gonna order, Four of them. That's Christmas time. Yeah, 50 bucks. And guess what? Eric likes Bloody Marys. Yeah, that's right. That's what, yeah. So, hint, hint. I can see right there for it dynamically adjusted the price based on how much I had in my cart. I say check out. So it takes you to, and this is also branded, right? So it's showing me um, a little bit more of their brand, their logo. Um, I have a few options here. Check out with PayPal customer information, email. Of course, everyone's seen this before if they've done any online shopping. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, I mean, it, what does it take us? Maybe a minute or two to enter in these forms. I'm gonna continue on to shipping, payment. I mean, I'm done, you know, mm -hmm. five, 10 minutes. And, and that's really the point I'm trying to make is, hey, this is easy, you know, this is, this is a good user experience. Yeah. And I think that Walkers just hits a home run with their mixes, and I hope we hit a home run with our uh, experience here on their website because um, I think they, they fit pretty well together, though. Yeah. So, and recap a little bit. Um, you know, we wanted to we wanted to take uh, Walkers products and create a simple, easy to transact process. Feature them so that they look nice, so that they're inviting and get the person that's shopping through to submitting their credit card and creating a sale for, for walkers as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. No need to overcomplicate things. It's aesthetically very nice. Um, you know, great use of white space. It's simple and straightforward. And you know, so, let me turn this so quick. So what I wanna, you know, maybe close with is, is the fact that if you have some products you're trying to bring to, bring to market and you're not sure what to do. There's a lot of uh, options out there for websites and for um, um, you know solutions that you can use maybe a D in a DIY environment right. or, or things like that. Um, it it really behooves you to have a conversation with uh, with us uh, and our sales reps because we can show you how how straightforward it can be and actually get you set up on the right platform. A lot of people spend a, spend a significant amount of time using the wrong platform and something that they ultimately regret as they grow or as they evolve mm -hmm. and that limits them mm -hmm. in some of their 
uh, marketing aspirations when it comes to search engine optimization, search right. engine marketing, things of that nature. So, um, you know, give us a, a call. We'd love to talk to you in about some of your goals and how you would bring your products to market. It's straightforward, but it's important to have the right platform and the right team. Yeah. Michael's the designer of, uh, of here at Movidia Technology Group, and he does an excellent job. And you deserve an award-winning design on your website. And uh, your customers will appreciate it, and it will enhance your business. So give us a call. We'd love to chat with you, talk through your needs, and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Michael, I want to say thank you for giving us a little tour sure. and giving us a high-level overview of, of Walker's Feed Company. Um, if you guys would like the URL and didn't see it, it's Walker Feed Co. So W A L K E R F E E D C O dot com. Go out there and and uh, and buy you up some cocktail uh, mixes <laughs> because uh, yeah, holidays. Order they're now. yummy. Order now. They're yummy, and the <laughs> holiday party's coming. Uh, just don't buy too many of them for the holiday party. Oh yeah, we encourage. Um, Everyone to drink. We have Everyone, to use that plug, right? Yeah. Isn't Everyone that like some FDA things, right? At some like OSHA. OSHA. Everyone yeah. drink responsibly. Responsibly, yeah. For sure, <laughs> definitely do that. But they make great gifts, so check out Walker Feed Co. This is Michael, and I'm Eric from the Video Technology Group. Signing off. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Deuces.